Today I will show you how to connect a Samsung cell phone to a PC using a modem broadband dialer connection. First off, you need the USB drivers downloaded from SMS Caster website. And I have currently have Cox high speed internet connected on this laptop now. And let me bring up this website. Again, this is smscaster.com. Let me see if I can zoom it in. smscaster.com. And you go to download. And download drivers. You scroll down to Samsung. And you see Samsung PC Studio 3, and also there's a new version. I use this version right here. So you click that, download it, save it to your desktop or wherever folder you'd like to save it to, and just open it and install it. So once you download it, first of all, I download mine to the desktop, and as you see it here. the Samsung USB drivers. You double click on that, install it, and let it run. It should take about two or three minutes for it to fully install. Once it's installed, it will save it to your program files directory. And once you plug in your phone, it should be able to uh, install it on the modem. Now since I have mine installed already, I'm going to show you exactly where you can find it on your device manager. Let me open my device manager up. And there you go. I'm zooming in just a little bit so you see. As you see, I have one modem installed. That's my built in 56K modem. And we're going to plug my USB phone cord in, and the modem should automatically appear on the device manager. First off, before you plug your phone into your USB port make sure your phone is set to modem instead of mass storage and I'll show you here on my phone let me zoom back out again go to menu settings phone settings PC connection you got two options mass storage or modem choose modem hit OK and exit out now, before I plug it in, you're going to see it's going to flash three times and my modem is going to install. Just plugged it in, flash once. Samsung modem's there. Flash two. And flash three. Now I'm able to configure my modem and use my phone. Zoom back out. Okay, I'm done with this. Close this out. Now let me turn off my wireless broadband internet connection. And you see it flashes up on the bottom of the screen. My wireless is disabled. Now let me open up Internet Explorer. And you see I have no connections. Now go ahead and open up your Internet Explorer. Try to connect. And of course I cannot connect. Go get to your tools for new connections. Internet options. This is in the middle page right here. And go to connections. You want to add a new connection. You want to add up a dial up. And you want to choose your Samsung. And for your dial up phone number, I use pound 777. Some companies I heard use pound 99, uh, others use uh, 
I forgot the another one. But pound seven 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 is one of the standards one to use. Uh, you guys should go to your your recent calls in your phone and look up data, and in your phone will show you what it uses pound seven 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 or another number. Use that number that's actually in your phone. Now for username leave blank is, is using your phone settings and also password leave blank. This box here allow other people to use this connection. It's totally optional up to you. If you want to share this amongst uh, other PCs or laptops, then of course go ahead and check it and you share your broadband. Now I'm gonna go ahead and connect just like this here with my phone turned on. Uh, let me zoom it back out. I'm going to try to show you both of them at the same time. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and connect. See how the automatic opened that up? It's testing the connection. It's building, verifying username and password. It's authenticating. Testing. And it's finished. And I say browse the internet. While I'm browsing the internet, you get three options to make this a home work up public. I'll go ahead and make it home. And I agree to that. And close that out. And as you see, this is my default home page, it's yahoo.com. And I got internet connection. Now let's test how fast this connection is. I go to speedtest.net let me zoom it back. Okay, zoom like that here. Let's open a website. Now, let's begin this test to see how fast your broadband is. Over to the left it says ping has a latency of 218 milliseconds. It's not that bad. I'm testing the, the download speed. Now uh, it's about to test the upload speed. It's complete. And what it says is my download is 0.68 megabits per second. My upload is 0.09 megabits per second. And that's about average.